Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to top graph the citrus tree using the Z-graph method. By top grafting you can make a medley of many varieties of citrus on a single tree. I will include tips and techniques for a successful graft. Enjoy the video. This is a satsuma, satsuma orange tree or tangerine <clears throat> and I'm going to take some cuttings off of this and graft it onto a rootstock that I let grow, get pretty big and actually the rootstock is a lemon. Now the, you want to sterilize, use the bleach on your shears and on your knife and you need to do this in between each tree that you're grafting so that you do not spread between the trees. And here is the grafting knife that we just sharpened. We will give that a mist also. Something I want to mention when you mix up your cleaning solution, the bleach solution. Okay, again it's minimum 10% uh, mix for sterilization. And I mix this up if I'm going to use it. I do not save it. I dump it uh, after one day. Once you mix bleach with water, it uh, is only effective for roughly 24 hours. It, it's good for maybe two to three days, but it's so cheap, I dump it after one day and uh, don't save the, the solution. Here is a cutting off of my satsuma. And this is springtime, so it's a good time for cutting or grafting citrus. So. Um, what you want to do, you want to remove all the leaves. Um, these will just, having the leaves on there will just help dehydrate the uh, branch. So we clip off the leaves and the buds will be right where the leaf comes out. Okay, I'm cutting this off. I'm going to choose an area where I want to graft. So I'm removing this branch and this rootstock has lots of thorns. So I already clipped the thorns off. The only thing that you have to watch when I'm, you're doing and leaving a piece like this is the original uh, buds from the rootstock. This could shoot up new growth and we don't want that growth. We want only what we're grafting. Okay, now I clipped that off. What we're going to do is what's called a Z graft. And the rootstock here, we're going to cut a bevel. I'm going to cut a bevel. Okay, now about midway, I'm going to take my knife and I will rock it. like that. The roots of the cyan. Okay, we're going to do a similar cut. Okay, about midway, maybe a little further towards the cut end. Now you want to be careful because you're working with a very sharp knife. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, the uh, cambrium layer is the layer between the bark and the wood. That's the layer that has to line up. If it doesn't make connection, your graft will not succeed. Okay, same thing here. I start to cut and I rock it. Okay, like that. I don't like touching it but you can see there, it's got that little bird moth. This is called a, a Z-graft. Now those two will grab onto each other and it kind of helps hold it on there. And uh, it makes a, a, a better mechanical joint. <clears throat> now, 
As far as the alignment, you can leave this at a slight angle to make sure that that cambrium layer will cross at some point. Works best if both the stock and the scion are the same diameter. If not, you just align the one edge, the one side. As long as you make a contact, the graft will be successful. Now, what I'm using here is grafting tape. So, this is a stretchable uh, plastic and it's degradable, so you don't have to worry about taking this off. So, once you make that joint, we want to tighten, make a wrap right at the joint to make that hold together. It will stretch, it's in, uh, it will want to uh, contract a bit and that's what causes it to hold to itself. Now that that's bonded, we want to wrap a layer all the way up to the tip, and this is to keep that stock from dehydrating. And when we wrap, we don't want to cover the bud. We need to leave the buds exposed so that they can start sprouting and not be hindered by the tape. So we, you start at the bottom and you start to wrap upward and if you're concerned with too much heat you can always take foil and wrap foil around this to shield it from the sun there complete I'm top grafting this, so a safe bet is to only do a third of the tree. Okay, now we're going to go <clears throat> just a little above center, and I'm rocking, I'm not pushing. This is like razor sharp. The knife is very good, very sharp. We want to do the same with this. So I'm going to make one quick cut. Okay, now we'd make the same rocking cut. And I'm being real careful, I don't want to cut my finger. I do that enough. Okay. And see that little mouth? We connect the two mouths together. This increases the possibility of more contact by doing that. And I'm lining the cambrium layer together. And now we just wrap it and that graft will be done also. Once the graft union is wrapped and secure, that's pretty tight. Now we start our wrap from below and wrap all the way up. And that keeps that cutting from dehydrating. To make the grafting go much easier and quicker, after prepping your scion, okay, determine how much you want to be using, and you need three or four buds. So we can trim this. Okay, after it's trimmed, then what I find the easiest, quickest way to do this, this is the end that will be grafted to the rootstock. What I do, or like to do, is wrap the upper portion. And this is real easy to do now, rather than when you get it on the 
uh, rootstock. And what I'm doing, if you're watching closely, I'm wrapping the stem so that it doesn't uh, evaporate so quickly. And I'm going around the bud. I'm not covering the bud. So this makes it a lot, lot quicker. Okay, then when I come to the end, I want to go across it like this. Then you need to pull this, stretch it. The stretching is what makes this stick to itself. Then break it. After I break it, I take this broken end and I flip it over. And that way it makes it easy for me to, to grab the loose end on the roll. If I just snap it off, then I find myself having to pick that off. Okay, now, prepping this here, it would be best if you could do it in one clean slice. But most of the time, that doesn't happen. You can see here. So I will support this end and trim a little more, being careful not to shave off the end of the finger. Okay, that's good there. Then I like to come from this distance about a third of the way down and then I start the cut and then I rock it. And I'll bring this down to the beginning of this cut right here. And that gives me this bird mouth that allows me to clip into the other other side. And then again, what you need to be looking for is matching up the cambrium layer. The cambrium layer is the living tissue between the bark and the wood. And there's two layers of tissue uh, okay right here you can see as I'm peeling this off it feels wet that's because sap is in there uh, it's the zyum and the phloem that, that's the two layers and uh, the one brings the nutrients and sugars from the from the leaves to the root and to the mycelium that does the exchange of water and minerals and the other one brings the minerals and water up to the leaves to support the growth. Okay, I just tore that one up so that's not going to be a usable one. But you see here, I pulled the outer bark off. It's wet and slimy. That's the new growth that's in there. And you could see here, this wood that made the, the cut. Uh, when this joins the other one, it gives a mechanical support to that small twig. So the success rate on these are pretty good. Even if when you connect, you put it th that uh, cambrium layer at a slight angle to where it'll cross the cambrium layer on the rootstock. Uh, that will give you success that way too. Here you can see one of the grafts sprouting its leaves. And what should be done, if you look over here, you see the foil. The foil blocks the sunlight, keeps it a little cooler, and you need to leave that foil on for just about three weeks. And right here, you can see this one just starting to sprout also. 
this uh, grafting tape blocks moisture water will ruin a graft if it gets in there but it allows gases to escape and it also is biodegradable it will deteriorate in the sunlight and that you can see here the buds protruding this is three to four weeks and you can see it's sprouting this one is same time and it's still healthy looks like it's just getting ready to start sprouting you can see the the moisture had stayed these were covered in foil for two to three weeks three weeks the foil was removed here's another graph at about three to four weeks and this one same time just a little bit further along again thanks for watching my friends bye bye